and welcome back to another episode of Tech Metals Tuesday. I'm your host, Rebecca Jenkins, here at TMN Global, and we are back again for part two of the Platinum series, talking about Platinum, the precious metal, and all of the wonderful things that go along with Platinum. And last video, we talked about where does platinum come from? What is its background? What is its story? How was it found? What are some of the characteristics that make it unique? And in this particular video, we're gonna be talking about the price, history, and performance over the past years. And we'll be talking about what are some of the trends looking into the future? What are some of the forecast? And what are the experts saying? Who is buying platinum in the industry? And platinum is a very interesting metal. It hasn't been that interesting. There has been some applications for platinum, of course, in dentistry and in jewelry. And um, many of you have heard of platinum as uh, something that goes on jewelry that makes white gold. Platinum is really known for, uh, for being non-corrosive and or being corrosion resistant. And so, um, so that's why it was used in ancient times for many, many years ago uh, for jewelry mainly. And then it was used in dentistry and there were some other applications, but today specifically, and in these videos, it's Tech Metals Tuesday. So we're going to be focusing on the use cases and the purpose for platinum in technology specifically. So before we dive into the applications, the trends, and the future of this really interesting metal, we're gonna first open up the LBMA. And the LBMA is something where we actually pull our prices from, and the LBMA is the London Bullion Market Association. And so you may have heard of of the LBMA before. You can go to lbma.org. All of these prices are open for you to view yourself and do your own research. Uh, so if you look here at this picture, you'll see platinum from you know all the way back before the 2000s and now to the present day, the price and how it's, how it's developed, how it's gone up and down over the years. And as you, as you see, uh, currently, it's around it's around nine hundred and seventy six U S dollars. We're talking in U S dollars today, and uh, and you know that was just uh, that was actually just yesterday that it was nine hundred and seventy six. So they update it twice a day in the morning and the evening, and uh, and you can see the prices here. And if you look back, if we go back to around two thousand eight, right before the the market crashed, and there was a lot of uh, upheaval and uh, a lot of things happened in 2008, 2009, as we know. And this was the price, as you can see, right before the crash. It was well over uh, $2,000. And uh, this is a really great price, uh, in my opinion. And the reason why I'm saying it's a really great price, because if I would to now show you, uh, this is the gold price that was in the same time frame the same same year and the gold was only 900 and, and around 980 dollars uh and so actually platinum during this time was more valuable than gold was valued higher than gold and so it's really interesting to see because plat both platinum and gold are precious metals and gold we we think of gold being so valuable and um and something that is a really great investment is a, is a store of wealth is truly what it's been known for and uh, platinum is not known as a store of wealth. As you can see, the price goes really up and down. It's a lot more volatile than gold is. Gold, you'll see, it has this steady, you know, if you zoom out, you really see the steady um, increase in value over time. So that's why gold is really known for keeping its value over time. But it, it, it shows, here's the proof, that platinum at one time was worth more than gold. And, uh, and so that's something really interesting to think about because platinum is used as a technology metal uh, in, in some forms. And actually it's becoming more and more used to develop technologies and innovations for the future. And so not all technology metals are precious metals, just like not all technology metals are rare earth metals, but there are some rare earth metals that are used in technology and there are, rare earth, and there are precious metals that are also used 
in technology and innovation. So this is a prime example of how th this is, this is uh, the demand goes up and down for platinum being in the technology industry because platinum, one of its purposes, as you can see here for technology, and really in this video, we're focusing on how is platinum used for technology? Because I am sure we can talk about the ways that platinum is used uh, for other applications or for other uh, purposes, but this is Tech Metals Tuesday, so we're talking about the technology purposes to, for this metal. And platinum is used for catalytic converters for diesel engines, and it's also used for something called green hydrogen production. And so something that it, that it has already been developed for is these catalytic converters, which we, in our, if you've been watching the Tech Metal Tuesday series, you'll know we talked about palladium. And palladium is a technology metal that's used as a catalytic converter for gasoline engines. So platinum and palladium kind of go hand in hand. Platinum's a little more expensive and it's used in diesel uh, engines for the catalytic converter. It converts the, the toxic emissions into something that is more safe for the environment. And it's something that in the 1990s was really something that all the cars started getting these catalytic converters to help the environment due to regulations all over the world that was requiring that for the automobile industry. And so that was something that was in demand for platinum. And it's something that because of the way that there could be demand, there could be that there's more higher consumer behavior for diesel engines in the future, or there could be less. Uh, you know, it could be that there's regulatory changes, there could be technological advances that make the diesel uh, catalytic converter not needed anymore. And so there, it's hard to say, it's difficult to predict, uh, or so the experts are saying it's difficult to predict uh, the demand for diesel catalytic converters with certainty, but, this is something that the experts are saying it's not, we you know we're not, it's a little fuzzy. There's not a lot of money maybe being dumped into research and production for the innovation of diesel engines with catalytic converters specifically. So I want to bring something interesting to your attention as an investor looking into what's the new up and coming thing. What are things that I can educate myself about that uh, the industry really cares about and that's putting a lot of money into the research for? And that is green hydrogen production. Green hydrogen production, if you've never heard of that, um, it's this process that splits water into hydrogen and oxygen. And this results in hydrogen that has a low carbon footprint and it creates energy that's considered clean and sustainable for creating energy for all different types of things, for transportation, for uh, for all different industries. And so when this green hydrogen is burned, then it produces this heat and electricity that is, uh, that's sustainable. And so that's something very interesting for the future. We're talking about green energy and sustainability. And this is where it gets really interesting for platinum. Coming back to our metal of the day, platinum is used, is a key element that is actually used to create green hydrogen. During this production process, platinum is actually used as a catalyst in order to uh, create green hydrogen. And this process is known as electrolysis. And the process is known as green or considered green if the electrical energy used comes from renewable sources such as wind or solar power. So if you're seeing with all of these videos, we're talking a lot about green energy because there's a lot of research and development and a lot of money being put into green energy because really that's where the innovation is going to make a more sustainable world where we can sus sustain ourselves on renewable energy and not so much on fossil fuels and toxic uh, ways of creating energy that hurts the planet. And there's a lot of research, a lot of money being put into this industry. And overall, the use of platinum in the production of green hydrogen, it really helps the process to be more efficient, cost-effective, and environmentally friendly. So without platinum, uh, this process is, is not happening in the way that the researchers, the scientists, the industry wants it to. And so platinum plays a really important role in the development of this important 
renewable source of energy. And this is where it gets really fun, is I wanted to know how much money is being invested in the research and development of green hydrogen worldwide. Because of course, if I know how much is being invested uh, by the industry and by the experts and then by governments and then by uh, different companies into the development of this, then it makes me think, okay, that's something that's gonna be around for a long time as an investor. That's how I am approaching my investments. Is this something that's gonna be around for a long time? Is this something that is good for my money in that's going to grow over time? And according to many reports, uh, investments in green hydrogen could reach hundreds of billions, with a B, of dollars in the coming decades as countries and companies seek to reduce their carbon emissions and transition to clean energy sources. And there's uh, a quote here from worldbank.org. Thank you, worldbank.org. Uh, and they say that the, the demand for hydrogen reached an estimated 87 million metric tons in 2020 and is expected to grow 500 to 680 million metric tons by 2050. From 2020 to 2021, the hydrogen production market was valued at $130 billion and is estimated to grow up to 9.2% per year through 2030. This is... This is the most money invested into an industry out of all of the Tech Metal Tuesday videos I've done of all of the videos so far. Um, even Hafnium, this one, this one I believe is the top tier of money that's being put into the future of an industry. And so this is really interesting because as we think back on the picture from before, the LBMA, the price is really volatile with platinum right now. It's kind of actually fallen down a little bit and if anything isn't a good time to get involved in a potential investment when the price is down not financial advice but something to think about because this is a lot of money being spent on the on the research and development and on the future of an industry 130 billion dollars is, is a lot of money and that's what's being put into this green hydrogen production. This is something that honestly, you can go and find this, this information, many different sources, including academic journals, industry reports, government publications, it's out there. Uh, you could even ask chat GBT or, or Google or wherever you get your information. Um, but the information is out there that, that green hydrogen production, green hydrogen is the future of sustainable energy among other things, we still have our solar panels, we still have um, you know, wind turbines, and we still are developing, you know, like we talked about with hafnium, nuclear energy. But this is just another way of creating this, this sustainable energy source that can, help, that can help so many different applications, so many different industries worldwide. So it's definitely something worth considering. It's definitely something worth looking into. And I hope this sparked your interest and gave you some uh, enlightened thoughts about where the industry is going and what Platinum is doing as a technology model. And um, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or if you have comments about this metal platinum, if you have anything to add, I would love to hear your feedback and your thoughts down in the comment section below. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you soon in the next Tech Metals Tuesday video. Ciao.